This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so we'll uh, get started with like yeah today's session. So as we said, like uh, in MicroStrategy tool, right? So we have different products out of which, right? The important products are MicroStrategy Developer and Web. When it comes to a MicroStrategy Developer or Architect, so these are the the tool products. So apart from this, there are other tools as well, but which are uh, into administration so people who are interested in administration once you complete developer right so we'll have few sessions on the administration when i can walk through so one is micro strategy developer and the other one is a micro strategy web so when it comes to micro strategy developer so micro strategy developer is a client tool where you create all different types of objects and in once you develop this particular objects in the micro strategy developer so what you do is so this particular web components will help users to access the reports or the dashboards whatever we have created so most of our development or say probably uh, around 80 percent of our development is completed in micro strategy client tool or developer and there are few options which are possible only in micro strategy web so for which right so we just take that 20 percent of development in the micro strategy web so in in like dashboards we have like few additional options so when it comes to this so there is a micro strategy offers a trial version for 30 days so once you log into micro strategy site and under products right you can download uh, whatever software you require so i've uh, downloaded the latest version that is uh, 10.11 version so this particular version right so once you install then you open it so by default uh, it will ask you whenever you log into that developer it will ask you for a login id and password and by default you can create your own user id as well so that we'll see as part of administration but the default one will be administrator where you will be given like all the privileges and then the password will be blank you just need to click ok and then it opens up your developer and this particular thing so just uh, try to understand guys so this developer tool uh, once you install it will last for 30 days where like whatever practicals you need to do you have to complete it so probably if you don't complete it so again you need to reinstall and then uh, install again the micro strategy developer and in case of micro strategy web so only like till 9.4.1 so whatever version i said at the starting so for that one in windows 7 ultimate right so we can have access to micro strategy web component as well so once we complete probably our uh, like most of the concepts or when we start with dashboard so we'll go back to uh, 9.4.1 version and there right we will see uh, a dashboarding concept so because like once you create dashboards when they are in interactive they doesn't work in developer so you need to play with dashboards you need to uh, i mean interact as in like when you open any e-commerce site like amazon best buy anything so whatever filters you have at the top or at the left hand side you do have different filters based on the data gets reflected so that is what like you are interacting with the system so those interactive features will not work in developer they work only in web for which right so i will take those sessions uh, i mean when it comes to dashboard i'll reinstall 9.4.1 and then we'll have that particular session separate but like for initial say uh, 20 to 25 hours like we'll be focusing completely on the micro strategy developer so as i said in micro strategy developer we define all objects and uh, like in micro strategy i said as i said 
this objects are classified into three types so can someone right to recollect them so what are the different objects we have in uh, micro strategy public object public objects good configuration objects okay schema objects schema objects yeah perfect so you have public objects then you have uh, schema objects and then you have configuration so these are the three different types of objects you have in micro strategy and as per roles right we have discussed so who works on this public objects Uh, developer, micro strategy developer. Micro strategy developer. How about schema objects? Architect. Architect. Okay. Yeah. Good. Configuration yeah. admin administrator. Right. Perfect. Yeah. So architect, and then here comes an admin. Okay. So we'll try to understand today, like what are these public objects and what is the need of. Uh, those objects right in micro strategy on a high level and then um, okay so the order as well so as i said uh, whoever is learning the course right you will fit in developer come architect so this will be your uh, primary responsibility and uh, this we can put optional but like as i said people are interested after 30 hours of session from now so if you are still interested then probably we can learn even the administration as well or one weekend that should be fine where we can have long session to have like overview on admin responsibilities as well where you can put in your resume which adds weightage to it okay so when it comes to uh, the public objects right so the order as well like how the course goes basically is first we'll be learning uh, public objects and then we will be learning the schema objects so i mean ideally it should be a reverse order like first in i mean project whenever you join any project so first thing uh, what they do is they create schema objects and then on top of public objects i mean so the, on top of schema objects they are going to build the public objects but like uh, i don't want to start with schema or architect starting the reason is uh, like uh, public objects are way easier when compared to schema objects because here uh, there are like a lot of technical concepts like relationship and then uh, i mean you need to import tables you need to build relationship between them and so on so which to start up right it will be a little bit complex so for that reason right first we'll uh, i mean work on all the public objects so that you get used to tool and you uh, understand the reporting concepts so once you're familiarized with those particular concepts then i mean schema objects will be easy so once you open your developer tool so just try to see like tomorrow we'll get into detail on architecture but before you understand architecture you need to understand few things for which yeah we are seeing this particular interface so this is a micro strategy uh, developer interface and in this particular thing so if you look here uh, i mean you see two different uh, i mean uh, objects which basically is called as a project source if you look this micro strategy analytics module and then analytics module direct so these are the project source and these are the high level hierarchy once you open a developer and once you click on this particular plus symbol so you just click on this particular plus symbol then you see uh, this administration one and then under this you see two different things so if you look at this two uh, you have a different symbol so this indicates projects this indicates the projects so hra module is one project and micro strategy tutorial is another one and similarly here also once you click on that it asks for a user id and password so once you click on this one So it also opens administration and then you do have uh, HRA and then micro strategy tutorial. So these are two different duplicated project source and the difference between them, right? If you look the way they are defined, right? If you look here and then here basically. So what this indicates whenever you see this internet or a globe symbol here, right? So this is a server connection. So this is a server connection or this is a three tier connection. 
So what is that server connection or what is that three tier connection? So that we'll understand in tomorrow's session once we discuss on the architecture front. So if you look the second one, so in the second one, you do have MicroStrategy Analytics Module Direct, so which is a direct connection or in other words, a two tier connection. So as of now, just remember that. So looking at the project source, uh, if there is a globe symbol, then it is a three tier connection or server connection. And if you don't see globe symbol, then it is a two tier connection or a direct connection. So once you expand that, you see like rest, everything will be same except like few options. So, uh, I mean, either we can take this uh, HRA module to start with or like micro strategy tutorial. So by default, right, micro strategy gives like two different uh, projects to start with. So most of uh, them right will be using the micro strategy tutorial because it is built on retail schema and probably here like uh, the schema and everything right it is more on a retail uh, real-time industry where it will be easy to uh, understand and create many different reports in this one so for that particular reason for throughout our course also we are going to make use of this micro strategy tutorial project to develop all our reports to develop all our reports okay so okay so now uh, just try to understand here a uh, few different concepts so this is a project and then uh, in a project right so once you run your report right so it has to get data so where the data will be resided so let me okay so what i'm doing is i'm just creating one new folder so i'll just show you uh, how to create a basic report and then try to understand few concepts on a high level so this is i'm creating some demo reports and then uh, in micro strategy it will be i've shown earlier people have attended but people haven't attended so simple you need to uh, right click on an empty space and once you do it you just need to get into new and then it shows all the list of the objects which you can create and my particular requirement now right is to create a report so i just click on this particular object so report you just click ok so there will be different templates like the way how you have in uh, powerpoint various different templates so here also you have different templates but for now i'm just choosing a blank report so just click on ok okay so it opens up different sections so we'll understand that as well different sections but as of now uh, just try to focus uh, two different uh, sections here so towards the left hand side right so at the top you see object browser section and towards the right hand side you see a report view or local template so in general right we call this as a report template section so this section is a report template and towards your left hand side is an object browser so from the name itself right so it tells you object browser means to browse any object in the project to browse any object in the project you need to make use of this object browser section so as of now on a report when you try to build a report two basic objects what you are going to use is attributes and metrics so it provides a shortcuts so or else you can just navigate like this as well the way you have seen it right so public objects and then schema objects so you go to schema objects so you open all the folders from there also you can go to attributes so you just click here or just you click that both of them are same so it is like a kind of bookmark or a shortcut which will be placed so that you can navigate faster so as of now so assume that i want to see a region wise sales so i just double click so just you need to double click and this uh, what is this called i'll tell you what is this attribute called and what is this metric also we'll just try to understand that uh, the micro strategy terminology in few minutes so i just went into metrics 
and in the matrix i'm placing a revenue which is a sales so just you need to double click on that one so on your report right you need to just place report designing as placing required columns so whatever the business requires right you just need to place what are the different attributes you require and what are the different metrics you require so once you place necessary objects on your report so what you do is so you at the top right so you have an option called as run report so as soon as you click on this run report then what happens is the report is executing but this particular central or mid atlantic northeast all this particular data or the revenue for each of this particular region right they don't exist in micro strategy they don't exist in micro strategy so just try to understand this uh, important concept so this i'm just saving it for a minute so i just save it okay so now whenever i design any report the report definition only will be stored at micro strategy layer so meaning so whenever you design your report so you drag the region on your report template and then you have revenue metric on your report so what it stores basically is it stores only this particular data okay i need to fetch data for region and then i need to fetch data for revenue and how i need to fetch basically is based on the region based on the region so this is what the definition that will be stored in your micro strategy layer so as soon as you click on this particular run report what is happening at the back end is so you click on this then what it does basically is you just click on this run report it takes some time so during that time what your tool is doing basically is your tool is going to create a sql the first step is it creates a sql and this particular sql will be fired against your data warehouse will be fired against your data warehouse and from the data warehouse it is retrieving the data it is retrieving the data so in order to get data on your report the first thing basically right is okay so first thing the data has to come from database right for which at the starting of your project so if you look this there is an administration and assume like under one project source if you have 10 projects for all that 10 projects as well you will have only single administration you will have only single administration so once you open this particular administration so under administration there are different options here like all these things we'll discuss at last but one particular concept which you require is under there is an option called configuration manager under configuration manager there is a database instance there is a database instance so this particular database instance so if you look at here there is a tutorial database instance so your tutorial data whatever this micro strategy tutorial it will be connected to the tutorial data and your hra right will be connected to this hra analysis warehouse so in this way say for example you want to connect to a new oracle source and so on so you can just define here a new database instance and within that particular instance you can create one more instance so say for example i want to create i mean but for that you need to know oracle server and like uh, what is the user id password and then the port number so for example these are the different types of uh, connections which micro strategy natively supports so from this particular i mean so if you look here so it supports all the types of databases which are available in market so if you just scroll down right there are different types of databases it supports and then you want to connect to oracle then under oracle so which version your client is using so then probably you are going to choose that particular thing and as soon as you click on this particular new so here an instance has to be created so in your particular machine if an instance is created it shows up so you select that and once you select you require that particular credentials login id and password of that odbc in order to connect it so first step is your administrations are going to define this database instance connections and once they create it they are going to map to the project they are going to map to the project so whatever data we are seeing right is fetching i mean whenever you run your report it goes to this instance 
from this instance so this will have a physical connections to your data warehouse physical connection to your data warehouse so as soon as you're running the report it goes to this database instance from there it goes to your data warehouse brings the data and then it is showing on the report it is showing up on the report so first one important thing is your micro strategy developer right once you open your micro strategy developer you'll have a project source and under a project source you'll have multiple projects and then any project you choose right so this particular project has to be connected to a single database or it can be connected to multiple databases as well okay few columns i want from database one and few other columns i want from database two which in other words is called as a multi sourcing but every project has to be connected to a database has to be connected to a database or in other words it should be connected to a data warehouse so only then you can see data on the report you can see data on the report so whenever you run any report what it does is it gets the data from your data warehouse so is that point clear so far any questions clear okay fine so now when you created a report right so two different objects you have used on the report what were these two objects you have used on the report is so one is you have used attribute and the other one is a what is the other one revenue is what revenue is a metric so what is that particular thing right so just try to understand here so you learned a dimension right so in your data warehousing basics you learned a dimension so what is dimension did you learn dimensions the numerical values then what are facts dimension is like a collection of descriptive information about a measurable event all right yeah so it is not like uh, numbers basically facts are the numeric values which impacts business whereas your dimensions are the textual or descriptive columns which defines your measures right is it no yeah so this dimensions in micro strategy terminology right we call them as attributes so whatever we uh, i mean referring as attributes is dimensions and then fact you know any numeric value which impacts the business is called a fact and in micro strategy layer also if you look at this one at the starting of the project like what an architect does so what an architect does is he is going to bring the tables so these are the list of the tables which exist in the micro strategy tutorial database so he is going to import bring this table from data warehouse to micro strategy layer and once he brings that table on top of it he is going to define attributes and facts he is going to define attributes and facts and if you look uh, under attributes again there are different segregations like customers geography products promotion time so if you remember yesterday like star schema or snowflake so what we have done is uh, the products like category sub category item so those are related to one hierarchy hence we have defined a parent child relationship between them so here also the same concept lies in so all the related attributes are grouped under one particular folder which is in other words is called a hierarchy so here all the customer attributes are grouped together here all the geography here all the products and so on so let's see uh, that one so once you open customers you see all the attributes right all all the columns which defines a customer so those are present here in the same the case you get into geography so all the attributes uh, which are related to geography are placed in here in the same the case with products time and so on so these are your dimensions in short and then you have facts as well so these are the different facts uh, which exist in that particular micro strategy tutorial of which uh, mostly right will be dealing on like sales profit uh, unit price and so on so that will understand while creating the reports so when we have facts right 
so just try to uh, see here so i'm just trying to uh, get into new report so once you open a new report and then what i am trying to do is i'm going to schema objects and under the schema objects i'm getting into fact and then just i'm trying to drag any fact so what it does basically is it doesn't allow it doesn't allow me to drag any fact on the report any fact on the report so on micro strategy report so what you can place is you can place attributes but you cannot place facts so this particular facts on top of facts so what we do is we are going to aggregate facts aggregate fact basically so we'll just try to take an example and try to uh, understand that in a detail okay so if you look uh, at this particular fact table uh, which we uh, took in our uh, yesterday's uh, session right so you have like one then store id as 10 and then uh, say uh, this particular date right so it was like uh, say uh, two four and then uh, this particular date is something from say two five as in these are uh, transactions related to today okay so assume like say uh, now consider you know single particular store uh, for each day there are like uh, close to uh, 10000 transaction or something so assume um, like in the all stores there are 10000 transactions assume on a single day so for 2 4 you have 10000 transaction 2 5 you have uh, 10000 transaction and so on so and then uh, probably it has data for january 2019 and then 2018 and so on so whatever your business run right all the data gets stored here so assume like you are nearing uh, like february ending so once you near that particular february ending so each of this particular value okay so this particular combination and then on this particular combination you have 50 dollars so this 50 is a fact and this 50 is a fact this 50 is a fact and then each of this particular individually is a fact but on your report right on your report it doesn't allow you to place facts so it doesn't want to see an individual value so how the reporting works basically is they want to see aggregated data so on my day one what is the sales so in that particular case what i need to do is i need to sum all my sales value based on the day based on the day or else i need to sum all my values based on a customer who are my top 10 customers or so on right i want to find out so in that particular case what i need to do is i need to group all my customer x transactions so i want to see product wise analysis so then i need to group all my 10 10 10 what is the sales 20 20 what is the sales similarly i want to see store wise sales so i need to group all these particular ones which is a store one sales i want to group all two which gives me store two sales and so on actually so whenever uh, i mean we say fact it is an individual value and what is metric means metric is an aggregation of fact it is an aggregation means so on top of this particular values whatever you have right so you perform certain aggregation like basic aggregation is sum or you want to find average sales in each store or else you want to find count you want to find what is a maximum sales amount what is a minimum sales amount so you want to do certain aggregation right so when you perform that aggregation on a fact 
then it is called as a metric then it is called as a metric so so on that lines so whatever facts you have right on top of it basically in the sample project which is given to us there are various different metrics which are created so under which i'm just opening a sales metric where you have like most of the things which is used for our reporting like revenue profit profit margin profit per employee and so on so if you look at um, this specific thing right so i have revenue and profit so once i place this revenue so what is this revenue formula means it is just sum of your particular fact so just i open this particular thing so just try to see uh, the formula so whatever fact you have here so the same fact is grouped with sum and this sum how you want to see so you want to break by on region break by on customer so how you want to group data or on what basis you want to see your revenue so just you need to place your thing so what this gives is if a customer x has done i mean multiple transaction all the transactions will be grouped and then it is going to show so say for example i just run this report okay so it shows me each customer and what is the transactions they have made so what is a metric means as of now metric is an aggregation of a fact aggregation of a fact but at times you need to aggregate even on attributes as well so that we'll understand so when we start more on the reporting front but just i want to tell you okay so whenever you design any basic reporting you are going to place attribute and then you are going to place metric on the report and uh, these attributes are dimensions whatever you have learned dimensions so those dimensions we refer as attributes and when it comes to a metric so what is a metric is metric is an aggregation of fact so micro strategy report doesn't allow you to place fact so hence what we do is on top of facts we are going to derive metrics we are going to derive metrics and that metrics we can use on the report we can use on the report so say for example you want to create your own metric right so it is also very simple so i just showing it we'll have like three to four hour session mainly on the metrics so just you need to go like how you have created a new report similar lines you need to go to new metric so empty metric and towards the left hand side it shows you so you just need to drag and drop that set so it by default it shows some so you want average sales assume. so you just type in that avg which stands for average you just click on validate and you save and close so this we are creating another calculation which shows average sales so per employee you want to see what is their average sales and so on so you want to see per customer per region it depends on what uh, dimension you place on the report or what attribute you place on the report so everything here right is a drag and drop so hence right uh, it looks very easy but like the thing is you need to remember uh, each and every option each and every option so that is a key thing uh, in case of micro strategy reporting so okay so as of now again i am repeating so to create a basic report in micro strategy we require two objects one is attributes and the other one is metric so what is metric is metric is an aggregation of fact and then attributes are the descriptive columns which describes that particular number so what is that number right so that is uh, that description is provided by your attributes so hence whenever you design any report right so you make use of attributes and metrics you make use of attributes and metrics so is that point clear or any questions because that is a basic point which you need to understand so whenever you create a basic report what objects we need to use so minimum objects we need to use this attributes and then the then what hello metric you require attributes and metrics okay so now okay so if you look here so the first thing on a report whatever you require you require attributes and then metrics and these metrics are also created right on top of facts or sometimes they are created on attributes as well so these two objects should be exist first 
in order these objects to exist right the first thing i mean where these attributes or where these facts will be present is they are present in the tables dimension tables or fact tables so the fact table should be present and if they are related like say category subcategory item so if they are related then there should be a parent child relationship so or the primary key foreign key right so those things are defined using the hierarchies using the hierarchies so at first which objects has to be created first in micro strategy project whenever it is a new project is so the schema objects so first the schema objects has to be built because once you have schema objects then only on top of it you can i mean in order to create report you require attributes and metrics but to create metrics you require facts or to work with filters so you want to create filter what is a filter that we will understand but again to create filter to create drill maps to create consolidation to create custom groups so lot of objects which you create here they are dependent on attributes or metrics attributes or metrics so hence what happens is at the starting of your projects all your schema objects will be designed and once the schema objects are designed on top of which which your developer right they are going to work on creating necessary public objects so they i mean based on a reporting needs right they create templates they create uh, prompts they create metrics filters uh, consolidation custom group all these things the reason they create is right they want to use those objects in a report they want to use those objects in a report so be it consolidation be it custom group all these particular objects which you create right they have to be used in a report and once you create a report so this particular reports say uh, i have like region wise sales one report customer wise sales another report so item wise sales in other report so now i have three reports which talks about my sales so i want instead of seeing my sales information running three different reports i want to combine that three reports at one place so that particular thing you are going to combine that three reports at one place in a document or a dashboard in a document or a dashboard so just try to understand here guys very uh, important and very basics is so say for example i just go i want to create a new report so just go here new report so in the new report so just try to understand here so i just uh, okay so from here let me navigate i go to public objects and in the public objects so i see uh, auto styles is for formatting so that we'll understand here only uh, you'll get a lot of auto style selected whatever auto style you create so that is used on the report only and you go for consolidation so this consolidation also so once you create right it has to be used on the report it has to be used on the report so you want to use a custom group even custom group has to be used on a report or else uh, you want to use a drill map so once you create any drill map so that drill map also you are going to associate to this how that like probably will create during the drill maps and say it. so you create some filters assume so i have like some sample filters so in the same report right there are different sections so that probably after architecture will be talking about this sections so i'm going to place particular filter so even a filter i have to use on a report and also you have seen metrics so this particular metrics you created so basically this metrics also you need to use on a report and then apart from metrics you do have prompts so even this particular prompts right so this prompts also once you create you have to use on a report and then um, similarly now reports is some this same thing searches is basically once you create searches you make use of that searches in filters or prompts and then again that filter or prompt is used again on the report same the case with template you create so then again you just drag and drop it so you are going to make use on a report so all this particular public objects the purpose you use them or you are going to create them right is ultimately to use on the report to use on the report but like what is purpose of each object why we need to create all these things is like something we will uh, i mean understand when we talk about each particular concept in detail of all this particular concept right two different concepts are very important one is the filters and the other one is a 
matrix and probably on next right we can say prompts so this filters takes uh, like uh, say uh, three to four hours for us to complete and then the same the case with metrics so these two concepts right are very important and probably they may take six to seven hours but if you are comfortable with filters and metrics so all other objects will be completed very fast prompts probably uh, like couple of sessions so if you look these are the three major objects i say or uh, say more than 50 percent of your public objects is filters metrics prompts which takes like seven to eight hours and then uh, your auto styles consolidation custom group so all these three uh, can be completed in an hour uh, drill maps uh, such as templates can be completed in an hour so just try to understand so uh, your major thing right so lies under this particular three objects so under this there are various types of filters various types of metrics various types of met prompts so, but these are the three different objects which are used in most of the reports and then we spend more time uh, in understanding it so and every day we start with uh, i mean we have to create report for sure but what we do is we start with one object okay first uh, tomorrow we'll start with micro strategy architecture and next we'll understand what are the different sections in this particular report so basic formatting like uh, say you have uh, a dollar symbol you want to add dollar symbol how do you do it or like basic formatting you want decimal values you don't want how to change background so few basic concepts uh, for like two three days we'll uh, see once we are done with this right so we'll start building filters and then understand how to use on the report we'll then we'll start understanding metrics and then how to use them now currently we are using the sample metrics which is provided as part of project but if at all you need to create new calculations how do you create them and how do you use them on a report and what are the different calculations or different types of calculations we can create so that takes three to four hours so that is where we focus here and to make your filtering dynamic so for which we make use of prompts so every day what we do is we learn creating different objects and then how to use them on the reports and once we are familiarized with all these particular concepts and using them on a report, we combine that three, four reports in order to create a document or a dashboard, document or a dashboard. So everyone clear, understood so far. So how basically we'll go ahead with our course. Hello? Hey, yes. Okay, good. So once you're familiar with uh, reporting and then dashboarding and then uh, familiarized with a tool right so once you're comfortable at this particular thing so there we'll go with schema objects and schema objects takes uh, like around like seven to eight hours or like probably if you're too slow to grasp then maximum 10 hours so probably a 15 hours to 20 hours it might take if you want more example or the way you grasp things and then probably a 10 hours for here so probably right from uh, say tomorrow it takes like 30 hours and probably what we'll do is um, uh, we'll take some extra time on weekends and then probably uh, try to complete a uh, few concepts over the weekend as well we'll check that availability and then accordingly we'll decide that okay so so today right i just want to uh, touch base on like uh, okay to create a basic report what objects you require and what is the importance of uh, each one of them and so on so what i'll do is probably um, i will uh, share the schedule as well so uh, yeah, tomorrow at the starting right so what are the different concepts and each particular concept takes how much hour that thing i'm going to uh, show you at the start of the session tomorrow but to give a high level we'll start with uh, tomorrow on micro strategy architecture uh, that is um, wednesday thursday friday we'll understand uh, basic reporting concepts and then if uh, everyone uh, are available on saturday and sunday we'll just uh, take like uh, one and a half one and a half hour and try to complete up the filters concept like which requires three hours and if yeah so probably if we go till at least prompts right so that is where you cover most of the concepts so probably my plan is by till next weekend right so that is uh, till 15th right so i want to cover like uh, major of your public objects or 
yeah i mean probably i have long weekend here so if everyone available 18th is a holiday so we'll just try to wrap up all the public objects before 18th so that people haven't started marketing you can also start marketing and then once you start it parallel you can cover your uh, schema objects and uh, say dashboard designing advanced dashboard designing basic will complete by then but advanced one uh, will take at a later stage okay so to work on micro strategy uh, reporting right so one thing is you require a micro strategy client and you require a database which should be connected and apart from database there is a metadata as well so what is the purpose of uh, metadata that i will uh, tell you tomorrow but as of now just remember before we start with micro strategy assume so you have 10 different projects so in micro strategy how it deals basically is for all that 10 different projects so it uses a single metadata so what does that mean is so your metadata will be configured at your project source level so once it configures at your project source level so whatever you have here so this is one project two projects in the similar fashion assume there are 10 different projects so all that 10 projects will use the same metadata will use the same metadata so metadata is one type of database which we'll understand in detail in tomorrow's session and there is another type of database which is your data warehouse which is your data warehouse so this particular data warehouse right is i mean for each project you connect one database or you can connect multiple but just remember all your projects will be pointing only to a single metadata single metadata so what is metadata then what is data warehouse what information is stored in metadata what information is stored in data warehouse so that also we'll understand as part of our tomorrow session so meanwhile right so uh, yesterday i've given you one assignment right so did you get chance to look into that one what is assignment forget about like did you get chance but what was assignment memory and unique unique right good so anyone uh, did you find the difference yeah okay so we're found right so can you just um, tell me like what is that you think a difference between a primary key and unique key mm. primary keys uh, purpose is to enforce the entity integrity mm -hmm. and key's purpose is to enforce unique data this is what i read from um, when i was researching about the differences and okay. like we talked before like uh null null values are not allowed in a primary key whereas null values are allowed under a unique key okay uh, they can be only one primary key or i mean combination of columns uh, for an entire table but then there can be any number of unique keys per table okay okay yeah whatever you said is right so whatever points you said they are like uh, yeah 100 percent correct and yeah good like only like others right so just try to understand like whatever points priya said so the first point is uh, so in case of uh, primary key right so you know that primary key can be defined only on one column or combination of columns but say for example you want uniqueness on any other column in the table as well you want uniqueness on any other column as well so in that particular scenario what you define is you define that particular key as unique key so you can have multiple unique keys in a table so which ensure that that column contains unique values that contain unique values and the other key difference is in case of primary key as we uh, discussed right so it doesn't contain null value but whereas in case of a unique key it can contain a null value okay yeah so thanks for doing that assignment so today right so just uh, uh, on a similar thing just try to find out what is difference because now i'm telling there are two types of databases one is data warehouse and the other one is a metadata 
the other one is a metadata so i want you guys to find out what do you see is a difference between a metadata database and then data warehouse so or in other words so what type of data is contained in data warehouse and what type of data is contained in metadata so clear on today's assignment yes so difference between metadata database and data warehouse so you just uh, try to find from your end but probably i'll show you practically as well uh, because now whenever you are running a report it is hitting two databases so as soon as i run any report it hits metadata and then it hits data warehouse so if you go through that two concepts it will be really helpful for you to understand micro strategy architecture in very detail so okay then yeah so we'll end here so any questions we'll take up tomorrow at the starting of a session so thanks everyone uh, have good night we'll catch up tomorrow at 9 pm uh, shrinivas i won't be able to make it to tomorrow's class okay okay yeah i just want okay thank you okay thank you bye